you can see right there. And yeah. Luckily, we haven't had any big ones in our area for and a boy, while. Whenever you say that, we haven't had one. It's yeah, knock on wood really. time because, boy, I'll tell you, yeah, those things are just always frightening. With all the cameras, too, we get to see so much more of it, mm -hmm. you know, uh, like the tsunami in Japan a few years ago. As far as our weather, we've been seeing very nice conditions. Look at this. Camarillo, 0.03 hundreds of an inch as well Santa Barbara and I want to point out that is more than we got in Santa Barbara than we got in the entire month of January and almost as much as what we got in um, December so there you go that really shows you uh, how our rain season did not work out the way it was and look at Lockwood Valley that's up above uh, uh, Ventura County so it's almost in Kern County and look at that quarter inch of rain and that's where they typically do see these monsoon types of clouds rolling through you can see a little bit of haze there so some marine there might come back into play and at the upper levels we're still seeing those clouds move through the region temperatures are kind of all over the place um, you'll notice right there it looks like Santa Barbara we just pushed up a little bit as the sunshine came out and the clouds went away we have a, a little bit of an offshore wind at the lower at le levels of the atmosphere despite the fact that we're talking about monsoon moisture that little bit of an offshore wind has boosted the temperature slightly. Look at Oxnard, the difference. They're getting more of an onshore flow, and that's why you are seeing just a little bit more of the, um, the coolness off the ocean. So you can see winds tending to be onshore right here, but then every so often we do get these little turns in the wind, and that means that that's why you're seeing just a little bit more warmth, a little more uh, unevenness in the, uh, the temperature regime, as you can see. Monsoon flow, very warm and humid, slight thunder chance for the next day or so, but that's going to pull away, and things are going to start to change. We expect to see a stronger onshore flow by at least the middle of the week, and then it will strengthen even further as we head toward next weekend. So very slight chances of rain showers will remain in our forecast over the next day or so. In fact, you can see on our pinpoint radar right there as we sweep into Southern California, most of the energy remaining well to our south and to our east, but there is still quite a bit of uh, energy that could sneak over into, say, Ventura County for the most part, perhaps even some of our eastern edges uh, up into San Luis. As you can see, San Luis sticks a little bit far south right there, so there are some chances out there, but it looks like, again, most of it should stay out of our region. Looking at the fog tracker, you'll notice by tomorrow, all that moisture is not showing up on our radars at all, so by tomorrow night, we do expect to pretty much dry things out and get back into a more normal pattern, which means that over my shoulder right here, we'll start watching the moisture at the lower levels, which we all know is fog. Overnight 60s for the south coast, turning into some 70s and 80s again for tomorrow. Should be a beautiful day, drying out for the most part. We actually had heat index readings today, Victoria, which is when you add the humidity and as well the temperature, it can sometimes feel a little more oppressive, kind of muggy as they say, and that means you just feel a little warmer. So overnight uh, temperatures will start to cool a little bit more. Your daytime highs inland areas should actually warm a little bit and then as we head toward the beaches probably cool just slightly and a little bit of surf out there is going to boost up over the next couple of days and that's good news out of the southwest nothing too spectacular but there should be just a little bit more wave action on our southwest facing beaches there's your forecast right there and look at it doesn't meander a whole lot possibly seeing some cooling as we head toward next week and we'll get through just a couple of these maps santa maria again more fog but temperatures still right about or above normal until we get to about next week and we'll stop on San Ynez and again those temperatures right there for the most part right where they should be for this time of year no real big shocks to the system just monitoring the chance that maybe by next weekend we'll see a little deepening of the marine there maybe more persistent fog throughout the day and the monsoon should be uh, MIA at least for the next week or so okay but I did like the raindrops today. oh I loved it the That's smell so was wonderful it smelled like rain for yeah. the first time in Isn't that great I can't remember how it was long. actually free water falling out of the sky I know, right? amazing <laughs> All right, thanks for that, Sean. The Dallas Cowboys are enjoying our cool weather as they practice in Oxnard. We'll bring you their Sunday scrimmage next on News Channel 3. Sports is next. Hey,